Hello everybody, um, just a very short video here today. Um, I want to tell you something about, um, you know, cross-border influence in Europe. And here we have one of those people, uh, Inga Verhart. Uh, she is a Belgian politician, seems to be very influential has uh, ties with uh, von Stimmelmans, uh, the climate pope of the European Union. Um, and, and what we have here is a uh, short blog, and it basically says, uh, Borsele, uh open longer, not without our uh, say-so, basically. You know. um, first thing that, we, that you need to know is that uh, Borsele has a, <laughs> a once-through uh, cooling cycle, there's no cooling towers there. <laughs> Just the first thing right off the bat. Um, so this is this is incorrect. Uh, this was uh, written today, so it's very new. Um, basically, what she's saying is, well, Borsalet, which is our pressurized water reactor in the Netherlands, it's 550 megawatts. Uh, and it is not that far from the Belgian border. It... it, it I, I, in fact, it lies along the same river as the dual nuclear power plant, which is just across from the Belgian border, and ours is in the Netherlands, obviously. Now, um, what is what is happening here is she is basically saying that uh, um, well, first things first. Uh, at this moment, Bosle is forty-seven years old. And it has a license to run up until 2033, which means that once it's done with its operational lifespan, as it is licensed today, it will be 60 years old. Um, the people at Bosla are actually looking at a license extension and they are uh, using their feelers with the government uh, to to see whether they can get the money required to retrofit the plant in order to get it to run for another 10 or 20 years. I support this, by the way, but you know me, I'm the nuclear humanist, so I support this all the time. Um, so what she says, she's Belgian, by the way, we're Dutch, we're talking about a Dutch asset, not a Belgian asset. She says, well, uh, yes, you may want to, you know, relicense this power plant, but not without our say-so. So, and I'm, I'm going to be very basic about this. They are shutting down their own nuclear power plants and they are planning natural gas plants to replace these nuclear power plants that they're closing. So what if I bounce this ball back to her and say, not without our say-so? Miss uh, Inga Verhart, we don't like your gas emissions. We don't want your gas emissions. How about you don't build your gas plants and keep your nuclear power plants open? I mean, this is an infinite regress, people. They will say, we don't like nuclear. Uh, we want you to stop using nuclear, whatever the cost. And we say, uh, well, but nuclear is fine. Nuclear, there's no problem there. We can run it for 60 years if we want to. And you don't get to build new gas power power plants. Because at this moment, there is this clash between green people and um, people who are, who are actually concerned about the environment in Europe. So von Stelmans, for instance, who is the first vice president of the European Commission, is one of those people who is completely anti-nuclear and is trying to shut down every effort to build new nuclear, new nuclear power plants. At the same time, there's more than a dozen countries in Europe that is either building new power plants, planning new power plants, or wants to keep their existing nuclear power plants running. So at this, and this, this basically is making me mad, you know. I, I really get angry about these people because they have no clue what we're up against. This is just the old left green um, stale narrative of people who say we don't like nuclear because you can make bombs out of it and it's dangerous and we don't like it. 
And that's why we want it closed, no matter the consequence, no matter the consequence. That it means that another 100, 200, 300, maybe 1,000 people will die each year because of the air pollution that we are getting from the other things. Doesn't matter. And, and, and they, they are so insidious. They know that it will happen, yet they say, no, 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 we can build all these windmills and all these solar panels, and that's all we need. So the same thing with Germany. I mean, that's even worse. They are they're keeping their lignite power plants open until 2083, until 2038. So what are we doing? Um, I wanted to... You know, make you aware that this, this, these, these uh, political forces are still working in Europe. They are trying to influence people, and it's going to be a hell of a fight to uh, to open people's eyes and make these people become obsolete. Because that's what we got to do. These people have to become obsolete. We don't have to. We have to make sure that they will lose their mandate to say this kind of bullshit. Because it's. It, <laughs> That's all. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.